In this screencast I'll show you how to use the case study function in Pro2. So to start with you need to build your flow sheet and have a process simulation that works. This particular example is a Gibbs reactor and we're going to make ammonia in this Gibbs reactor. So for the input stream we have hydrogen and nitrogen. Okay, and then we need to click input, case study data, and we need to define a case study to be able to look at how various parameters might vary. So we're going to actually vary something to do with the reactor in this example. And if we click on the Gibbs reactor, we can select the temperature of that reactor to be varied. OK, and the starting value, we're going to actually put, put an actual value in of 570 Kelvin. And then we're going to go in steps of 10 Kelvin. OK, and we're going to go from position 1 and we're going to do that 10 times. So we'll go from 1 to 10. And the parameter that we're going to look at, the output here, we're going to look at a stream parameter. We'll look at stream 2 because that's on the outlet of the reactor. And we can select a parameter. What would be useful to look at is actually the composition. And the component that we're going to look at is NH3. We're going to see how much ammonia is made at these different temperatures. And we're going to get a, a value of that in mole fraction. So we click OK. And we're going to look at the base case and all the cycles. So we click OK there as well. And then we hit Run. And now we've the, the case study should have solved. And all of those different sorts of situations should have been examined. Now we can click on Output and case study again so we're going to look at a case study output we're going to look at a plot in this example the plot title is going to be NH3 mole fraction versus temperature and then we're going to select some data for this so the parameter that we examine, the temperature is going to go on the x-axis. So we're going to add that. And we're going to change the title of that to temperature in Kelvin. We we'll click update and that gets updated here. Then the result is going to go on the y-axis. We're going to add that there. And then we're going to change this to be NH3 mole fraction. Click update then that's going to appear as well. Click OK there. Now that the, the data button has got a blue outline we can actually view this plot and I'll just enlarge this so that we can see what's going on. And you can actually see that the mole fraction of ammonia in the output stream varies with temperature and it actually drops with temperature. So we can see that at 570 Kelvin we're getting point around 0.55 and that drops off with temperature. And overall that is how you can use the case study function in order to look at different operating conditions and the effect that that has on various processing parameters.